power one i'm back with another reading welcome to my channel so forget the lovely peace love and my beautiful bigger and bolder to you all this is going to be what is the current gossip on you what is the current gossip on you take what resonate leave what doesn't if this reading resonate with you please like comment down below subscribe hit that notification bell if you're interested in my patreon or personal readings or my tiktok that is down below in the description box for you guys Peace, love, and light to you all. So let's get into this reading. We got the four of wands here. So the um, gossip about you here for some of you guys is that people are saying that you guys could be in a relationship with someone. And ever since you've been in a relationship with this person, a lot of good things have been going on for you. Um, a lot of you guys are somebody that has brought out the fun side of you, that has brought out your smile. This is someone that makes you feel appreciated. Um, people can tell how you're really loved by this person. For some of you guys, this can even be what's being said about you, where maybe you guys are in a relationship with someone and a person that you're dating, their family is like, oh my God, like ever since Power One been in this person's life, they have been like this, like they doing this, they doing that. So maybe you guys, people see a different side of maybe their family member and you are dating a family member, they see a different side of this person. They may be seeing certain stuff that they never even noticed, noticed about this person and things like that. So this is what the gossip is on for some of you guys. People are talking about a relationship that you guys are in for some of you guys the gossip is on your home for some some of you guys you could have got a home or someone could have given you a home or you could be getting a home for some of you guys people are are gossiping about how beautiful your home is how beautiful your house is um that's what i'm seeing here so that's the gossip here on some of you guys um for some of you guys the gossip on you is that some of you guys you are um getting love from your city for some of you guys so that's the gossip on you. You have love in your city or you're getting love from your city. For some of you guys, you may do something where people may know you by face or by name or people you may have your, um, you may have people that may know you. So you may have a group of supporters for some of you guys. Um, you have people that care about you, you know, so I'm guess what I'm getting here for some of you guys. So that's not going to resonate for everyone, but that's also what I'm seeing here. That's um, the current gossip on you. There's people that love you that cares about you you know whether this is in your hometown whether this is in your city or this is just people that you have met you know or that have came across you so that's another thing i'm seeing here that's being the gossip about you okay let's see let's what is the gossip about my power one yeah we got the ten of cups some of you guys the gossip about you is that you guys can be getting ready to start a family for some of you guys that's it that's the gossip here some of you guys you could be with child or you could have just had a child for some or a child on the way or trying to have a family that's just for a small few of you that's is the gossip on you another thing for some of you guys is some of you guys your parents like some of you guys if you have your own home maybe your parents have moved into your house or one of your parents have moved into your home and they just bring back a lot of childhood memories so that's can also be the gossip on you where maybe if some of y'all if your parent moved back into like your parent moved in with you or something like that they, they could be gossiping just basically saying how happy they are and just back to be you know living with you and things like that so that's just for a small few of you guys take us and be present for the ones where your parents live with you or there's something like that here okay so that's the um gossip about you so for some of you guys the gossip about you is people may feel like you um have issues with your child's mother or child's father for some of you guys that's what i'm getting um yeah so that's for some of you guys um the gossip is that you and your um child's mother father has issues with one another there could be um you two not being on the same page others of you guys if you're dealing with someone that may have um a, a kid by another person or something or by another person that could be the gossip where this person is having issues with their child's mother or father and it could be causing conflict in your relationship because they're having issues with that person that's for some of you guys that's the gossip on you guys um take her as an alien but doesn't um with the full card for some of you the gossip is is that if you was dealing with that situation for some of you guys um people are gossiping saying that they think you should move on from this person you still look young or you still young you still have a bright personality you got all these good things going on um you you know and stuff like that you, you can go elsewhere and for some of you the gossip is, is that you guys are leaving this situation you know that's what i'm seeing here you know because so the king of swords reverse because somebody could be manipulative they could be selfish here so that's what i'm getting here so that's the gossip of some of you guys it's not gonna resonate with everyone but for some of y'all 
that's what the gossip is. So some of y'all, there could be some of the gossip is, is there somebody that's asking other people about you. So some of you guys, you may know somebody, you somebody knows you and they know the people that you know. So y'all may be running in the same circles or they just know people that you know. Um, we got the nine of swords and verses. Could be an Aquarius. So there's an Aquarius that's asking others about you, that's gossiping about you. Um, this is somebody where um they could feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. This could be somebody where they felt like they should have been more assertive at the time and they weren't. This is why they feel like they missed out on some type of opportunity with you. Um, for some of y'all, um, there could even be somebody where maybe they missed um some of these guys, like I don't know, like some of y'all there could be somebody that is asking about you that missed you when you were at a place. So let's say you were going somewhere, somebody was going to be there, you end up leaving before they got there or something like that. Um, that's just for a small few, but that's the gossip on you. Like somebody could have ended up showing up and you could have left right before they got there or something like that. And it was trying to catch you. They was trying to see you. So that's just for some of you guys. That's somebody else asking about you and it was finding out you were there. Some of y'all, you probably never went. That's just for a small few. Um, but yeah, the gossip is that y'all have some type of Leo or an Aquarius that felt like they missed the opportunity with you. This is somebody that felt like they should have been being more assertive. Um, they feel like they should have showed up and, you know, communicated more. It just showed up more. Like, they should have put more effort in. This is how somebody's feeling here. This is what somebody is thinking here. And they are asking other people about you. This is somebody that is attracted to you here. Um, yeah, we got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries here. Leo, Aquarius. Yeah, this is somebody that's attracted to you here. Um, we got the Emperors in Reverse. For some of you guys, this could be somebody... Um, where they may feel like some of you this person missed the opportunity with you because they may um feel like they weren't you know good enough for some of you guys this could even be somebody that looks very attractive so yeah that's the gossip on you there could be somebody that is very attractive and you may not think they have self-esteem issues but they do they miss the opportunity with you because they weren't being assertive and this is somebody that's attracted to you um some of you with the ace of wands this is somebody that wants to start something new again this is somebody that wants to start something um they want to come in and, you know, start something passionate with you. Or they want to get the passion back. Um, or they're still passionate about you. They still want to offer something to you here. Now, for some of y'all, I don't know if, um, I don't not see any cups out here. But this is somebody that do feel like they miss out on something with you. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, a lot of you guys here, this could even be somebody where, some of you guys, this person could have felt like they weren't where they wanted to be at financially. So, yeah, there could be somebody that's asking about you that, could have just i don't know if they never said something to you or they just wasn't assertive or you know they wasn't taking the lead in some type of way but this is somebody that just didn't feel good enough because they weren't where they wanted to be i just personally feel like they still had more work to do they could have still felt they was in the process of building themselves up so that's what i'm seeing here um with this queen of wands here this is somebody that finds you to be very attractive. Um, with this eight of pentacles this person could have like you had a lot going on for yourself or you have a lot going on for yourself now you got the four of pentacles. Yeah, for some of you, this is somebody that let you go. This is somebody that wanted something with you. They're really passionate about you. very attracted to you. But they let this go because they weren't where they wanted to be at. That's what I'm seeing here. And we got the seven of swords. We also, I'm also seeing the queen of pentacles. I'm also seeing the three of pentacles. And this is how the cards are. You see that? So this is definitely somebody where... The, this some of you guys definitely could have been some type of third party situation for some of you guys or maybe this is somebody that will have to uh this is somebody that could have been in it this would have been a third party situation or this could have been a third party situation so yeah so some of y'all you have somebody you have somebody that's asking about you for some of you guys or maybe you guys never dated or something or you guys never was in a relationship Maybe, you, I don't know if this is a situation ship or something because we got the Ace of Wands out here. So this could have been a fling. This could have been a situation ship. I don't necessarily know the dynamic of it. Some of y'all, you probably didn't sleep with this person. But um, there's definitely something where somebody um, is in some type of third-party situation. And it could be taking care of somebody with this Queen of Pentacles. That could be um, someone that they have a kid with or someone that they stay with. We also got the Three of Pentacles here. So it's definitely some type of third-party situation. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here. So that can also be an issue as well, but that's who's asking about you. So if there is something like that that played out for you guys. It could be a fire earth sign or air sign here that is, um, asking others about you. Um, this definitely could have been somebody that was with someone, but they, 
This could be somebody that's with someone, but they're asking others about you for a small few of you guys. Um, some of you, they could have been with somebody at the time. Yeah, we got the cherry card here. So a lot of you guys, yeah, you guys can move forward. So this is somebody, yeah, this person, this is somebody that's asking others about you because you guys have moved forward. Um, they just see you guys. A lot of things will turn out for you, work out for you. So they could be asking people that you may know that you guys may run in a mutual circle with or people that may know you. Um, they, you know, trying to get some type of information on you um, to come back in, to speak to you. They could be asking how you've been and stuff like that. Yes. Okay. Moving on. So that's the gossip on you. That's what somebody's saying and they're talking to people currently, you know, stuff like that or about you. Okay. Um, so we have, you was right all alone, made you say you, you, you were crazy. So the gossip on you is there could be people that are starting to see your side. For some of you guys, there could have been somebody that could have tried to make you seem like you were crazy or tried to paint a bad picture or just try to make you, um, somebody could have tried to paint the story to make you look bad for some of you guys and people, could have been believing this person. The person could have made you think you were crazy because other people couldn't see it. Maybe this is somebody where they would do certain stuff to you, but they wouldn't do it to other people. Regardless of what it is, people made it say you was this person made it like you was crazy, and now people are starting to realize the truth. There could be some type of Libra here. For some of you know, we got the King of Swords in reverse. So um, yeah, for some of you, there was somebody. People are starting to see that somebody is really selfish and conniving. For some of you guys, people are starting to see somebody is really manipulated. Somebody could have been manipulating you guys or somebody could have manipulated other people to make you seem like you were the bad guy you were crazy and somebody was believing them or people were believing them now they're starting to see that this person was selfish they're starting to see that this person was um chaotic um this person was strategic you know they just started to realize this person was no up to no good yeah we got the nine of swords they could see that this person is irrational they got a temper or they just um very quick with their words quick with their actions before they even think that's what i'm getting here they can also be somebody that's um immature as well yeah we got the seven swords yeah so some of you guys do um so for some of you i don't know if this is somebody that you guys were dating for some of you guys because it don't have to necessarily be that but for some of you yeah we got the two of swords here there's this is definitely some type of air sign so there could be a libra or gemini or aquarius that tried to make you guys seem like you were crazy they was convinced to somebody that you were crazy and now this is somebody that's starting to realize that this person is selfish or or you know they very quit with their words they they quit to betray someone like if this is somebody that don't get their way they won't hesitate to try to betray you or be strategic to try to betray you or something or give you ultimatum with the two of swords because the two of swords could talk about um need to make a decisions or the seven of swords get give you yeah so they, they may like this may be the type of person where like if they don't do something that they want you to do they would take something away or they will give you an ultimatum if you don't do this or do that you you this or that so yeah somebody starts to see this somebody try to paint you out to be crazy and paint you out to be the bad guy now that they're in this situation with this person they're starting to see that you were actually telling the truth you know the star card and then you and this is you guys out here healing you guys already went through this betrayal from this person y'all to heal from it y'all to pour it back into yourselves and this is somebody from y'all past so yeah y'all got somebody from y'all past somebody from y'all so, so um Okay, I'm getting a couple messages. Um, I'm getting a couple messages. So some of y'all, this could be somebody from your past, and they could be with somebody right now, and this person is seeing you have healed and stuff from the betrayal and things like that, and they seeing why you left this person. So I don't know. All I'm going to say is if somebody is dating somebody you used to date, and they seeing why y'all left that person. They made you think you were crazy and all these things, but they realized it was just all a lie. You know, they actually started to see that this person was actually the problem themselves. And then for others of you with the six of cups here and the star card here, for some of you, this definitely could be somebody where you have healed for some type of betrayal that could have happened in the past. Um, with the two of swords here, for some of you, this could be somebody that could have made you feel like you had to make an ultimatum or something like give you an ultimatum or something like that. Or this is somebody that's very selfish. If they don't get their way, they would take something. So for some of y'all, this is not a love situation. This is somebody in a situation where they feel like they did not believe you when you was telling them about somebody being very selfish or conniving until so they got in that situation. Now somebody giving them like an ultimatum. Like like if they don't do what somebody asked them to do. Um, like somebody would be nice and sweet at the moment. 
you don't do what this person asks you to do and stuff like that. They will turn selfish and be very strategic and try to do certain stuff to uh, make, make things harder for you just because they're not getting their way. And even be um, very temporal with their words, um, being really mean with their words, quickly getting upset, um, reacting to things without even thinking rationally. So that's what I'm thinking here. You see here, you know, so... Somebody, so if it's not a love situation, it's a situation where somebody's starting to see like, oh, they messed around and found out or they're just finding out. So, yeah, so that's what's the gossip on y'all. Okay, so somebody had a gossip on you for some of you guys is some of you guys, there could have been somebody that put you guys in a third party situation. Now you guys are going out more and this person's upset. So for some of you, the gossip is like maybe you guys, somebody put you guys in a third party situation in the past or something like that. Or you went through some type of third party situation. So some of you, you may not be with this person. Some of you, yeah, may be. But you guys could have been in some type of third party situation. I just seen the Eight of Swords, but I'm shuffling the deck. Somebody is kind of all up in their head and they're stuck because some of you guys, you are going out more than what you usually do. And this is somebody that um that's worried. But this is somebody that feels guilty because when they were going out or when they were doing certain stuff, they was putting you in a third party situation. They was dealing with other people or another person. So now that you're going out more or you're doing new stuff, somebody is kind of... um um scared for some of you guys that you're going to um end up with somebody else we got the king of pentacles in reverse here for some of you this could be somebody where they feel like um you've been buying more stuff for yourself so some of you you could have been buying more stuff for yourself like more clothes things to, like accessories so some of you, you have been buying like more accessories they can you talk about like a new car a new gadget anything like somebody has felt like you have got more money now um you buying yourself stuff and Things like that. You really got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And this could be somebody that may not have that much money. So some of y'all, the gossip is for some of you guys is, I don't know if there's people saying this or if this person is saying this. This could be the actual person. But somebody put somebody in a third party situation in the past. And now their partner is making more money. They're leveling up. They're starting to come into more money. Things are starting to come together. And now the person that put this person in a third-party situation is afraid that you're going to do it. So, you know, somebody is afraid that now that you're making more money. Some of you, if you may make more money than them or you may be in a better position than them. And we got the King of Wands. For some of y'all, if you got... For some of y'all, there's like... There's either one or the other. It, it's either... You make more money than them or this person y'all can make the same amount but you make your own money so some of y'all maybe like you're an entrepreneur but they um are um a boss you know like y'all still and you know what i'm saying there's something like this here you know that's like the dynamic um we have the three of cups yeah so some of you guys y'all have been buying more stuff for yourself y'all have been investing in y'all looks and how y'all and putting yourself together and making more money now y'all going out more and this person that put you on a third party situation in the past is scared because they may not be doing as good as you financially and they afraid that you go meet somebody that's go um boss up like they like they like they want somebody's a so yeah that's the gossip so people are saying that you're gonna meet somebody that's better than a lover that you have that's not gonna be for everyone but that could be the gossip where people are saying that it's only a matter of time for somebody that may even be the gossip from this people's family oh wow family for some of you guys so for some of you guys there may be somebody family that's like basically saying that um you go leave them i don't know that's just for a small few of you for some of you guys if you were in a third if you were dating somebody and they put you in a third party situation and now you're making more money and you investing in yourself and you're going out more this person family is telling them like it's only a matter of time before you find that the person that's gonna treat you right some of you have this person's family may know they don't treat you right for some of you guys or this person has not treated you right so there's something where people are just basically somebody yes yeah, so people are putting fear in someone because they may not be doing as good as you you may think you meet things are starting to work out for you you're growing financially and this person that puts you in a third party situation is getting afraid because people are telling them like you go meet the one you go boss up and meet the one like you know, and this person's starting to feel inadequate. That's what I'm seeing here. So, yeah. 
So that's the gossip, you know. And for some of y'all, if you're not with this person for some of you guys, then that's still somebody family basically saying, like, oh, uh, look at you, you should have stayed with Pile Two. You put Pile Two in a third party situation. I look at Pile Two, look at them doing better, look at them doing good, look at them got this and got that. They got their money and look how they look. So people like for some of y'all, like people around somebody's really getting on in on them because they feel like they played themselves. Like y'all ended up leveling up financially, y'all look good. They are sign of coming together for y'all. And they like, look at the high for the reverse. And in and, and, and nine of swords, see, this is somebody that, that feel like you, people are like, not somebody's all up in their head here worrying because the high for the reverse, you were actually marriage material or something like this here. And they played their hand. Now, now you're getting a lot of attention. So that's a gossip. So y'all have people that y'all dated, family members talking about you guys. Um, You also have people saying that it's only a matter of time before you come across that lover that you deserve that's what i'm seeing here um i also got somebody from the past look at that the ten of cups is coming out I'm trying to tell you somebody family is gossiping about y'all like an old lover some of y'all you with this person now their family is gossiping saying oh you know um you go lose power too you know that right you better you, you better start getting yourself together because you know power it's only a matter of time. look at that the seven of cups it's only a matter of time before power to meet the right one it's only a matter of time so yeah we got to want you to chase them so some of you this definitely could have been somebody that was trying to make you chase them or some of you guys you always have to chase this person this person could have always been out put an effort into other people or they weren't being loyal to you or something like this and you this person wanted you to chase them and stuff like that and you guys started to invest in yourself yeah the two of pentacles in reverse you stop investing into the wrong things and start investing into yourself a lot of you guys you start some of you guys, it could even hurt you for some of you guys. But some of you guys, you have to, like, charge it to the game. Some of y'all may have to act like it didn't hurt you, but it did or, you know, something like that. But regardless of what it is, I'm just saying where the gossip is, is like, this you this person wanted you to chase them or you was chasing them at one point in time, now you're not. But regardless of other, uh, what it was, people just gossip and saying that it's only a matter of time before you be gone and somebody don't have you no more. And you was the real person. Some of y'all, you already broke up with this person. They just like, Pile 2 about to meet the one. Pile 2 and got their stuff together. And look at you. They comparing you and this person. Like, you're not even doing good. You done went over there with such and such. And now look at you. Look what position you in. Now look at Pile 2. So there's definitely somebody, family members, sticking up for you. Or just talking about you. And just making somebody feel like they delusional or they was crazy, you know. But anyways, moving on. We have tried to make you feel less because of reality, because you're better in reality. So the gossip is for some of you guys. Somebody, yeah, we got the higher front of reverse here. We have the nine of swords here. Yeah, for some of y'all, I'm still getting the same situation that's coming out. So this is the gossip about y'all. The same situation is coming out. But um, with the nine of swords here and the higher front of reverse, there's definitely the gossip is like somebody miss out on an opportunity to be with you somebody could have thought somebody could have thought that you were different or thought you weren't compatible because maybe you just were different in some type of way you were different maybe you were y'all y'all which y'all believe in was different you know there's something about you where somebody made you feel like y'all weren't compatible with each other that's how they made you feel they you know or you could at least felt that way and what does not a source and reverse somebody feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you because they were trying to be different or they was chasing some type of fantasy i don't know and there's definitely be some type of taurus aquarius or air sign here but regardless of what it is um yeah so some of y'all this is we got the emperor here yeah for we got the emperor inverse yes yeah, some of you got this is somebody that's losing control as well this is somebody that's losing control over you don't have control over you for some of you this is somebody that the two of cups yeah this is my that y'all's in some type of relationship with so yeah Y'all was in a third party situation with someone. They tried to they make you seem like you weren't as valuable as you were. Went off with someone else. It was dealing with someone else. Y'all end up dropping them. For some of you, you could be currently going through this. And this is the gossip on you currently. But regardless of what it is, whether you're with this person or not, the gossip is, is that it's only a matter of time before you meet the one. Because a lot of you guys are have came into some type of money. A lot of you guys are becoming more financially stable, people are saying. And it's only a matter of time before somebody see you gone. It's, and we get the Knight of Cups coming out. It's only a matter of time. Look at that. The Page of Wands reverse and the Three of Cups. It's only a matter of time before somebody tries to date you that has what you're looking for. And somebody's going to have to compete for you. And they're going to get heartbroken because this new person is going to be healing. Ain't no way you about to sit here and go back and forth with somebody that's not treating you right. And then you get Mr. Right 
or Mr. You know, Mr. Right, Mrs. Right, you know. So yeah, um, so yeah, a lot of you guys, we got Sagittarius energy ninth house. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you guys are learning something new. Some of you guys, you are um going to get higher education. For some of you guys, you are learning some type of trade. Some of you guys, you are um um you know sharpening up a talent. You get you gaining more skills for a talent that you already have. And yeah, something is starting to work out for you. And that's the gossip. So over and all, people are like, you're doing good. You got a lot going on for yourself right now. And yeah, until next time. Bye. What's the gossip is on you? What is people gossiping about? So off that, people are definitely talking about your skin. Um, If you are older, a lot of people are just wondering your age because of how good your skin looks. A lot of you guys, you still look really youthful. Um, others of you, your skin just looks really refreshing, very youthful, whether you're a man or a woman. People are definitely wondering your age, speculating your age. Um, there's definitely some type of gossip around what you use in your skin or what you put in your skin. Your skincare routine is definitely being discussed, whether it's people trying to figure out what you use. I'm hearing retinol, so people could be trying to figure out what brand you use. Yeah, there's definitely something about your skin here where people is talking about that. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Moon card in reverse. Okay, so this is just for a few of you guys, but maybe for some of you guys, you used to have a lot of acne for some. Not for all of you. Maybe you guys used to have acne-prone skin, hyperpigmentation. Um, there's definitely something about you guys healing your skin or something. Um, that's not going to be for everyone, but I'm definitely getting someone had like a lot of high pigmentation or... Um, a lot of pro acne skin that could have broke out a lot. Uh, with this Nine of Wands in reverse, it definitely could have been something that you guys could have struggled with. That you guys are, um, it's something that's not an issue for you anymore. We also got the Moon card in reverse. There could even be people that like, um, I necessarily didn't want, want to say like didn't want to date you guys. But maybe there is people that now since your skin is cleared. I'm also here P POS or PCOS or something like that. Um, that's from here. So maybe there's some type of healing that you guys have went through and now people are trying to, I don't know whether they're attracted to you, but it seems this way. So that's not going to be for everyone, but there's definitely could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces or, you know, someone that is interested in you or, you know, these could be the people signs. I've just seen two, two, two. So that definitely could be significant for some of you guys, but you do have people um, that maybe at one point did not want to talk to you or date you, maybe because you had acne or high pigmentation or something like that, PCOS or something like that. I'm seeing where that has, it starts to heal up or things are starting to heal. You have found something that works for you. And maybe there's people that want to kind of come around and talk about you. So there is something about that where you even have people that may at one point in time wasn't interested in you, gossiping about your looks, um, gossiping about how, um, you have have really healed your skin and things like that on top of others wanting to know what you use so that's not going to be for all but for some of you guys that's that's what i'm seeing here okay um that's the gossip on you we also have on and off again so the gossip is about you being on and off again with a significant other people are gossiping gossiping about some type of relationship so if you are on and off with someone whether you're dating this person but you guys come back together and break up again whatever that looks like for you People are definitely gossiping about that. We have the page of cuts in reverse. So people can be saying that the reason why you on and off again with someone is because of childhood wounds. Um, people could even feel like it could even be something that you could have been taught um, growing up or something that you could have seen growing up. And it could be playing out in your relationships for some. Uh, for some of you guys, people are just talking about just things that you have went through as a child or in your younger years that could be affecting your life. Um, as far as why you keep going, being on and off with someone again, this can even talk about you being with someone. Maybe you've been with them when you were younger for some. If not when you were younger, then it's definitely maybe just people still feel like it's stemming from some type of childhood wounds. And that could be for the both of you, you and your partner. Um, we also got the four swords, I mean, four swords here. And we also got the Ace of Cups. So some of you guys, people could even be gossiping, saying that the reason why you're on and off again with someone is because you're afraid to uh, be by yourself here with the Four of Swords. People could even be saying that you're afraid to start over with someone with the Ace of Cups. Um, people with the Three of Cups, people could be saying that you're afraid to get back out there. Now, this, I mean, yeah, this could be your friends here with the Three of Cups. It could be friends saying that or people that's close to you. But there's definitely something... Um, it's either you was on and off again with someone 
and now you're no longer talking to them and you haven't been by yourself and single for some time and your friends or people around you thinking that you should get back out there again or as you are on and off again with someone and you are afraid to be by yourself or you or um you're afraid to, to start over with someone else or to give another person a chance so that's the gossip on you guys again it's not gonna resonate for everyone but if you are on and off again this is what's being said um, people think that you should move on from someone or people think that ever since you moved on with someone you haven't got gotten back out there and they think it's time for you to get back out there um you know people could kind of think you need some fun in your life you know um, with this ace of cups and or three of cups it can even talk about meeting new people you know opening your heart up to love so that's what i'm seeing here that gossip is that people think you should um get back out there and see other people or see something new let go of this person that you've been on and off again with or if you have if you were on and off again with somebody and now you've been by, been single for some time it's time for you to get back out there that's the gossip okay um so yeah you know whether that's true or not you know yeah but we have neat so the gossip is about maybe how neat you are or how organized something is how polished something is um it could be something that you guys do and it's really neat or it's really polished how you're in the results of something um, this can be talked about maybe your home or how you upkeep yourself as well, the maintenance. Um, we had a queen of swords in reverse. So there's somebody that's gossiping about you guys. They could be gossiping saying how something is, is not neat. Maybe somebody, the gossip is people can be saying that you're not neat. Maybe you're unorganized. Um, you're messy for some of you guys. That could be somebody saying this. Um, for some of it could just be somebody gossiping about you because of how neat you organize. So it's one or the other. This is somebody that's saying that. You are not neat. You are not organized. You all over the place mentally and physically, you know. It could be somebody that's saying that. Or this could be somebody where they could be saying it in a nasty way. It's like, oh, this person is this, this is that. Basically, well, like maybe you think you're better than someone. Like, oh, um, pile two, they act like they got to be put together. Oh, they act like they got to have the neatest this and the most organized this. Or well, they got to go over the top. So it's, it could be either or, you know. It could be either or. Um, this definitely could be some type of family member here that you may not get along with or somebody that's this could be like an in-law for some of you guys or this could be some type of family member that you um are not close to for some of you guys uh, we got the emperor here this could be a father figure for some of this is not a father figure then this definitely could be somebody that um could like to um who, who this is somebody where people listen to this person so regardless of this is a father figure or not there definitely could be people um listening it could even be people gossiping about um with this emperor here maybe your work for some of you guys or maybe somebody is gossiping saying um how your work life is not organized or how your something your performance is not organized it's not neat it's not up to par for some of y'all maybe somebody could even be just gossiping you know where you may, may, may basically try to make it seem like you are this head honcho you always gotta um tidy up things you could even talk about you being late i'm here fashionable fashionably late so somebody can even be guess about um how you're late or you will be late so you can like show up looking presentable with this emperor here so that's just for a couple of y'all again if you go know a side your own if you are really 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 neat and organized then it definitely could just be somebody gossiping maybe it's an in-law or there could be a family member somebody that, that maybe you're not that close to but you guys um are have you know of course relations with one another of course you know you're you know some type of relations you have to be around this person have to be around you in some type of shape or form there's definitely some gossip where maybe like um you always have to make look the best or you always have to um go in and tidy up things like if there's like if there's a hair out of a place you gotta fix it so it could be somebody where just kind of gossiping like in a catty way trying to make it seem like you like you always have to be put together and you always over the top you always do too much um you can't never just you, you always got to do too much you know then on the flip side if you guys know that you guys are not neat or know that you guys are maybe unorganized or all over the place there's definitely somebody gossiping about that um, i'm making me be saying with the emperor here like maybe somebody could feel like you don't have it all together they could be gossiping because maybe they feel like they have it all together with this emperor this could be somebody that's gossiping about your status. They could be gossiping about just your lifestyle, you know, or maybe somebody's like, oh, this person's lifestyle is all over the place. It's chaotic. Um, they're not doing good in this area or this area. You know, it definitely could be some type of gossip um, that's being had. 
Uh, I'm going to see why this person is gossiping about you. Why is this person saying these things? You, no, no matter what side you're on, I'm going to check and see, you know, like, um, overall, what's this person's issue when it comes to my power too? Uh, we have the Knight of Swords here. So this is definitely somebody that has a lot. Um, this is definitely somebody that has a lot that they want to say to you that they don't. Like, this would be somebody where, like, they will sit in front of you and they won't say anything to you. But the moment that they get around somebody else, they have all the issues in the world. Like, oh, this person was this, this person was that. But when this person is in front of you, maybe they don't. I'm not even necessarily getting the same energy. It's just more so where it's like they would tell, they wouldn't tell you what the issue is, but they would go and tell other people what they feel like the issue is. That's another thing where maybe like you, this person may think, I don't know, there's something about communication with this person acting like things are not an issue. Um, but yeah, we got the Ace of Swords here. Um, we also got the Eight of Wands. Um, for some of y'all here, it can also be another thing where maybe you guys, um, you see like the Knight of Swords is going this way. We got the Four of Cups. So, and we also got the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, this could be somebody that's upset because maybe you guys did not take this person's advice. Like there could be somebody that's the reason why this person is gossiping about you is because maybe there's some type of advice. Maybe this person tried to help you because we got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is going in the opposite direction. So like maybe this is somebody where they was trying to give you some type of advice or something. And maybe you guys had your own plan with this Ace of Swords and your plan um, is working out for you. Um, but with this four cuts, maybe this is somebody where they could have rejected the idea of that. So and I'm also seeing a higher fit. So this could be somebody that's older than you. For some of you guys, if they're not older than you, then they could be really well respected in your family, whether this is an in-law or not. They they will be res they are respected some type of way. Um, so yeah, y'all have somebody gossip about you. The reason why the reason behind this person gossip is, is because maybe you guys won't let this person help you as far as giving you advice. Maybe this person wants you to take their advice and listen to them. Because I'm seeing where this person is giving you some type of what this nine of swords here, somebody wants to help you, but they want you to make a, a change or do something that's in a direction of where they want things to go. And then you have your own plan of what you feel like will progress and work for you. They don't like your idea. So this could be a situation, maybe somebody so if you like let's say this person thinks that your life is unorganized or all over the place and it's chaotic this person may have gave you some type of advice where they felt like would help you in their eyes get your life together and but maybe that's not y'all have two different visions and you have your own plan they could kind of be slighted by that um if this other way around this could be somebody where maybe they try to tell you you don't have to be put together all the time or you don't have to be perfect. Like maybe they said something to you. It don't have to be a directly that, but it could have been something that was said. And maybe you didn't take their advice. But I'm definitely getting somebody just feel slighted because you won't conform or listen to them and regardless. So that's what I'm seeing here. So the gossip is, is people could be talking about a secret admirer that you have. People can be gossiping saying that there is somebody that likes you, but it's kind of um somebody could be secretly admiring you. Maybe you don't notice for some. Um, or it could even just be where people are just discussing it. They see somebody likes you. They see that they have hard eyes for you. So they're kind of just discussing it, gossiping about it. Um, this can even be a secret admirer that's gossiping about you guys as well. So let's gonna see. What's the gossip? We got the star card. So yeah, there's some type of, there's either a secret admirer that's gossiping about you. They're saying that you're really attractive. You stand out. Um, this person wants to get to know you. This person um, noticed you instantly. Um, you know, there's somebody that definitely um, talks about how attractive you are and just, you know, how good you look and stuff like that. Maybe this person does not know much about you. This person definitely gossip that they got the eye on you. Um, that's what I'm seeing. But you can also have people where they're gossiping about somebody liking you. You know, you're standing out. Somebody's interested into you. You're, somebody's interested in you. People are seeing this person is interested in you. So this could be a chorus. It doesn't have to be. But there's definitely a secret admirer gossiping about you. And there's definitely people gossip, gossiping about this secret admirer. Like with the star card, you keep me talking about people are gossiping, saying that maybe the secret admirer is trying to get your attention with the star card. Maybe they're trying to catch your attention for some. Uh, we got the Knight of Swords. Yeah, for some of you, maybe they can be talking about um, gossiping and saying that this secret admirer is going to take the opportunity. Um, they're When they get the opportunity to approach you, they're going to take it. So that's what I'm seeing here. So if there's somebody that approached you guys or somebody's interested in you, in you, in you, 
and next amongst other people that can see this for themselves visibly, they're gossiping about it. Oh, this person likes them, da 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 da. You know, you can tell they're interested. Um, they can be gossiping, saying, oh, such and such is talking to Pow Two more. So maybe somebody's talking to you guys a lot more than usual. Then, then maybe they don't speak to people like that that often, but they talk to you really usually. So there could be people that say, oh, I wonder if such and such likes Pow Two. I mean, they're always talking to Pow Two, da da da. You know, Pow Two got this person to speak to them. I usually don't speak to people. So there's something like that as well. So there's definitely gossip around some type of an Aquarius here that definitely has that eye on you. So we got favoritism. So what's the gossip on my pile too? We got favoritism. We got the tempers in reverse. Okay, so some of y'all, there could be a gossip like from a Sagittarius where maybe they could feel like um, there's some type of imbalance. Maybe somebody feels like maybe you're being favored over them for some of you guys. And so maybe you're getting favoritism in some type of way. Or you're being favored over them. They could feel like it's unfair. Um, that's what I'm seeing. Some of you guys, somebody keeping be blaming you the reason of why something didn't work out for, for them. It's because you were favored. So somebody could be just, you know, trying to use you as an excuse on why something didn't work out for them. Or why they didn't get something. That's for a small few of you guys. And we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you this could be in a family dynamic. Or this could be in a work situation. Or maybe some... Um, could be a Virgo, doesn't have to be, but there's definitely somebody that may have not got some type of position. There could be somebody where some type of money lost or something that has been lost in some type of way financially or like a position. And somebody could be like trying to make you the scapegoat of that. Oh, Pile 2 is the reason why I didn't get that position or they, 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 Pile 2 is favorite more or the reason why... This ended up messing up for me because Pile 2 is favored more. So, it could just be somebody using as an excuse and trying to use you as like the, as their excuse. Or this just could just be somebody where they just feel like they deserve something that was given to you and they could feel like it's unfair. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Tempers in Reverse, this could also be or maybe somebody's gossiping. Not, not for all, but for some of you guys, if you do have financial help from family or anything like that. It could even be somebody gossiping where maybe they're kind of comparing their life to yours or saying the reason why you have the things that you have is because you you have family or you have help or something like that. And they don't they had the lack of support or they did not have that support. Um, you know, so that's just for some of you guys. That's the gossip. You know? um but yeah with the nine sword that's why Pile Two doesn't have to worry. Um it's because Pile Two has family that has money or um, you know, so some of y'all, it's not that, then it's the other two explanations I gave y'all. They all resonate, they're just gonna resonate differently for some of you guys. But that's a gossip. So, we have unloyal. So, people can be saying that you guys are self centered, um, people can be saying that you guys are unloyal, um, by default. Um, you only loyal based off of if it's value or not for some. If you know, that could just be a few. If not everyone, you know, maybe. But we're going to see here. What's the gossip? Let's see. We got the sun card here. So people could feel like um, you only, somebody could be saying that maybe you're superficial. Somebody could be saying that you like a lot of attention or you like a really lavish lifestyle for some of you guys. You like to be seen or you like over the top. Um, People could even be saying, gossiping, saying that, um, I don't know. Maybe for some of you guys, there could be people or a person that's gossiping, basically making it seem like um, as long as good stuff is happening, that's as far as loyal you would be to them. Uh, we got the judgment in reverse in the six of wands. So this definitely could be somebody um, but could be trying to change the way other people view you. Um, we got the six of wands here. Um, so yeah, like some of you guys, maybe you guys get a lot of attention here for some of you guys and I don't know, but I'm getting multiple messages. For some of y'all, maybe you get a lot of attention. Maybe there's somebody that wants to date you guys and wants to be with you guys. And they could be making it seem like um, to other people that you think you're too good to be with them for some of you guys. You're only um, interested in people that get as much attention or have status as well. That's just for some of you guys. Others of you guys, this just could be somebody where they feel like... Um, you they can be gossip saying, Oh, Pow Two will give you attention, but the moment somebody else has way more attention or has more than them, um, that's when you will switch up. So this can be somebody that's basically trying to make it seem like you you are loyal until the next best thing comes around. 
and then you indecisive about whether you want to continue putting effort into that person. Um, so this is who's gossiping about you. This definitely could be some type of Leo that's gossiping about you that says that you're self-centered. Um, for some of you guys, or you could be a Leo, but some of you guys have seen where you guys get a lot of attention. A lot of you guys look good. A lot of you guys can be really picky. There can also be somebody that's saying that you guys are self-centered because you're really picky. Maybe you guys have really high standards as well. So... You know, take resonate leave with does it's not gonna resonate with everyone. So we also have you work so much, I just want to spend time with you. So that's the gossip. Maybe people are saying that you are a workaholic, people are saying that you're always at work or you're always worried about money. Money is always in your mind, you're always worried about a check that you know they miss having you around or they miss when you're around because you bring a lot of fun, you're a great time. We have the six of pentacles in reverse so for some of you guys maybe people can be gossiping saying um that well for some of y'all maybe you guys are going through money issues for some um not for all but maybe you guys are trying to save up for some just some of you guys you're trying to catch up on payments but it's definitely where you guys have been working a lot for some of you guys because of needing money and resources but there could be people that feel like um they don't see you any much as more or you know we have the chariot card here for some of y'all maybe you guys didn't have a car for some um for some of you, i'm definitely seeing where somebody could have had some type of financial situation and now you guys are just now coming out of that so maybe you guys are just now getting back on your feet or you're just now getting your finances into the place that you feel comfortable with them at and there's definitely people that could you know um miss hanging out with you you know miss being around you you know the guys are saying oh pops who couldn't make it it was working or pops who come can't come this weekend because they got word they're going to need to sleep or rest this weekend so there's definitely just people that's gossiping saying they miss you with the moon card they be saying that you have been hidden you know and stuff like that they may see you out and about or you know they may speak to you when you out and about but for the most part you're working so that's just for some that's the gossip so we have players fall for you so the gossip is, is that there could be a player that's falling for you guys or you make players fall for you that's what i'm getting here that's the gossip we got the eight of pentacles some of y'all could be a virgo it could be a virgo but there's somebody that wants to um so there could be somebody that wants to take you guys serious they um want to put the effort in to get it to know you and this could be somebody that usually plays a lot so People are saying that you are you you have tamed some type of player. We have we got the emperor here. We also got the four of wands. This, yeah, so that's the gossip. This could be Aries, could be a Virgo here. But there's definitely people gossiping saying that you have pl pl um tamed some type of player. Maybe this is somebody where they get a lot of attention. They look really attractive. A lot of people want them. Um, you know, they don't settle down, but if somebody actually wants to put the effort into getting to know you. Um, with this emperor here, people can be saying that somebody um, has matured and they're ready for a relationship. So that's what I'm seeing here. So people are gossiping, saying that you got a player to sit down or you tame some type of player. Um, you even got the queen of wands. So somebody can, people are saying that somebody's so attracted to you. And yeah, so that's the gossip. You know, some of y'all, there could be somebody that's really attracted, they're really sought after, and they want to be, they want to settle down. Um, we got the Queen of Swords in reverse. We got the Two of Wands. There definitely could be people gossiping as well. That's upset that this person. Um, I'm getting multiple gossip around this. Like there could be a person that this person used to date that's gossiping. You know, they see this person is serious about you guys. We got the Two of Wands here in the Queen of Swords in reverse. So somebody is basically gossiping because you know somebody has changed their lifestyle. They have changed their ways. They have changed their life. So somebody's definitely gossiping because they do see. Somebody is putting effort in to being in a serious relationship with you. And maybe the, with the emperor here, maybe this is somebody where they're mature finally. They're finally mature, you know, have that discipline. So there's definitely some type of gossip with, with you know, like an old person that somebody used to date. They moving on with you. You got this person to settle down and be loyal to you. And there's definitely people that kind of feel some type of way. You know, maybe this person played that person back in the day. Maybe they were unloyal to that person. But this person is kind of seeing this person be loyal to you. And it could be gossip and saying that you're going to get treated the same way or things like that. But it's really because this person sees that how they treat you is very different from what they experience with this person. Then for other y'all, so there's people gossip and saying this person is really serious about putting an effort in with you. They're attracted to you. They they seem to be going out of the way, way for you. So that's the gossip. 
So we have diligent. You care about details when it comes to something you're working on. So some of you guys, you could be working on something. A lot of you guys pay close attention to it. It could be a tedious job for some of you guys. Um, people are gossiping about how you take your time with something, how to work. So maybe people are complaining about how, so yeah, that's the gossip. There could be somebody that's complaining about how long something takes. Some of you guys, you may do something. Um, you know, you may make something or there's something that's made by you for some of you guys. And maybe it takes some time, but the work is exceptional. It's really amazing. So somebody could be gossiping about that. Or maybe they have to wait for a really long time or have to wait some time for something. But when they receive it, it was worth the wait. So that's the gossip here. You may have the three of wands in reverse. Like maybe somebody could have had some type of idea that maybe something was going to get to them in two, three days or quicker. Or maybe something wasn't going to take as long as it do. But it does take a long time, but it's going to be worth it. So that's what I'm seeing here. That's the gossip on you. That maybe your work takes a long time or something that you guys work on. But it's for a reason. You know, it looks good. So, yeah. So this is your reading pile, too. Hope that this resonates next time. Bye.